In this video, I'll explain the issues I had with my smart meter, and hopefully that helps you with the issues you're having with your smart meter. It took months for SSC to sort out the issue, but we did get there in the end. First of all, I phoned up to ask for the smart meter, and then they booked me in for an engineer to come and see, see me and, and change the, the meter that I had to the smart meter. Uh, they didn't turn up, so what happens is you'll have a 30 pound put into your account uh, for every time that they say they're gonna turn up and then they don't come. This happened three times for me, so I was 90 pound in credit. My old meter was taken away and the smart meter was fitted. And I also had a display unit, which they said to keep within two meters or one meter from the actual unit to the display screen. For the first day it worked. And then the second day it didn't work. It said no connection. I phoned up and they said they would reboot the smart meter their end and to give it 10 days to work. After six days, the display screen started to show a reading again as if it was working and everything was fine. But on the app or the online account, when I go to check my usage per day, it would just show zero, zero as if I hadn't spent any money that day on electric. So it wasn't actually tallying up what I'd used that day or that month. So it was hard to tell what my actual usage was. I could only see on the day on the display screen, whether it was in the green or the orange or the red, but it was difficult to actually know what my total was and how much I was using each day. On some days I would get a random uh, reading of say 58 pounds 28 for that day. Although that would have covered say a week or so. When I phoned up to get this fixed, I was on the phone for an hour and a half, had issues getting through. Uh, the lady insisted that I put for a complaint. She said it would get fixed quicker if you'd done so. And then that way she would have to keep phoning me and checking that everything was okay and, and that it got sorted. Uh, this went on for a few months. Um, me keep telling her it hasn't been fixed. Um, so what she decided to do was keep contacting them on my behalf and checking and getting them to contact me and keep sorting the issue which I was back and forward with phone calls and emails screenshotting the issues showing her that nothing had been done but it was nice to know she kept looking into it for me so putting in the complaint actually helped me really they was unsure of the issue so they just tried a few different things and then they said they was going to delete my account and then send me an email for me to click on a link to then reactivate and sign into my account uh, and this happened twice I was asked to do it uh, one more time and I was actually really busy, didn't manage to delete the account and click on the link or anything like that for about five days. And then randomly, it just started working. I started getting readings every single day uh, for the end of Feb and March. So now after probably around three to four months, we finally got the smart meter working exactly as it should. So a lot of back and forward uh, and finally we got there. The good news is it was able to fix the issue from their end remotely. I was told with the issues with the display that if I kept having issues and it didn't work after 10 days, they would send me a new display. The smart meter is great now that it's working fully. It's a lot easier to keep track of your usage and how much money you'll be paying that month for the electric or gas. I hope this information was helpful for people with a similar issue. I couldn't find any information, so I wanted to make this video. Leave a thumbs up if this helped and subscribe. And in case you didn't know, you don't have to give any meter readings. It knows all of your readings and adds it all up for you. That's the idea with a smart meter. Thanks for watching.